Hello and welcome to Newsline. Do you ever hark back to the days of flares, wide lapel shirts and platform shoes? Do you ever yearn to hear again the songs of Sweet, Mud, Shawaddy Waddy or the Glitter Band? For most of us, the urge to reminisce about the 70s passes fairly quickly and without lasting trauma. But a few days ago, some diehards found themselves in seventh heaven. Thousands got out their most embarrassing gear for a special glam rock weekend at a holiday camp where for three days they transported themselves back to the age of Baco foil costumes and bands who believed in popper's fun. Yasmin Pasha, who was really more of a T-Rex fan actually, went along to feel the noise. back in time. Even the coach was made in the 70s. It had that 70s feeling about it. The fans came from far and wide. In fact, this man, Dean Rinaldi, cut short a holiday in Florida to make it here. Yeah, I've actually been out in Florida for the last month, uh, partially business, partially holiday. I haven't seen my wife for a month either. Um, but yeah, particularly for this weekend. Um, I've been to several concerts, but I haven't been on a way on a weekend before. And, uh, they've always been good fun, so weekends should be really good fun. There were the 30-somethings who wanted to bring back that groovy feeling and the teenagers who missed out first time around. I don't really heard of a squaddy woody. We haven't really heard of any, apart from ones like Mud. Yeah. We've never actually seen, so we're just going to go and see what they're like. What Compare the, them to today. What about the three? We've heard them. The wind and the rain were on hand to greet the travellers on arrival at their destination. Pontins in the little seaside town of Hemsby, near Great Yarmouth. Was Dean beginning to have second thoughts about giving up Palm Beach for Pontins? Within hours of their arrival, the fans were on a high. The Roubettes, white caps and all, with that well-known classic, Sugar Baby Love, which reached number one. Nearly 20 years on, and can they make those high notes? Just. It's the second time around. Like, we're actually doing it because we enjoy it. Um, and I do this for fun, you know, I get, for, get away for the weekend with the boys and have a, have a glass of beer, you know, mm. and to play as well which is my, my first love, you know. It was my original in, impression and my thoughts before, when I went on, over, over 30, Christ, they're going to look at me and think, what's that silly old sod up there? You know, what's he doing? You making a fool of yourself. But, um, yeah, we make fools of ourselves, great, but if anyone can enjoy it, and I, I'm enjoying it, yeah, it's no problem. The Glam Rock Thank Weekend was the brainchild of promoter Tom Ingrams. He's been running 50s weekends successfully for several years, but it suddenly dawned on him there was a new generation to be catered for. Mainly, it's people of my sort of age who were into glam rock when it was around the first time. And one thing about glam rock music is people haven't forgotten it. They don't, they don't deny that they were fans in the 70s. They look back on it as being fun. And they go now to have a fun weekend. <laughs> Shawaddy Waddy were a 50s nostalgia band themselves, but regularly topped the charts in the 70s. 
In fact, at one time, they held the record for appearances on top of the Pops. is their lead singer. I always feel a little bit inhibited by these sort of get-togethers. Maybe, maybe it does feel like you're in a bit of a time war, but um, all we do, it, it doesn't matter what the gig is, we go out there to have fun as well as the people having fun. And I think the fact that we're having a good novel up there on stage does tend to rub off on the audience. plus crowd filled the entertainment hall at Pontins. We've had our fair share of uh, being teenage heroes, so uh, we're trying to grow old gracefully and, and still have a good time to boot. Shawadiwadi called for some serious audience participation. Glam Rock of Sarah was really getting into the swing of things. There's nothing like a blast of sea air to clear your head. We caught up with Les Gray of Mud, warming himself up with a pint. Unfortunately, for some reason, they always seem to hold them on the east coast, where the wind blows like... And I don't know why, but it always seems to be raining, and it's always cold. We work with Sweet ever such a lot, and with the Rubettes quite a lot as well. It's good, because, you know, it, you'll do various things together, but when you're all together, and it can get a bit, a bit riotous, to say the least. You know, it's a bit like school reunion. Time to catch up on what everyone's up to. Yeah, Rob, Rob's uh, producing that. Huh? Stiles, no, yeah, Stiles, Stiles is playing with the olives. Flares flapping in the wind, these 70s enthusiasts were clearly in their element. It was an era of the, where people could express themselves and where um, men were like women, men dressed up like women do, they were free. I just think that the music and the whole culture of the 70s was just like um, sort of a, a flutter of creativity. And the Pontin setting in particular met with their approval. Oh, it's fabulous. It's just that it's great. You can see things like the teapot, the decor. It's just absolutely wonderful. It's um, everything you could possibly want for a 70s weekend. But surely weren't the fashions of the 70s the most cringe-making of all? Oh, yeah. Embarrassing, but fun. <laughs> All around the camp, everyone was gearing up for the big night. which it's nice when you want to be outrageous. Yeah. But I, could, I don't think I'd like to sort of like run for me 76 bus again. You know, <laughs> like I used to. So what, are you looking for a couple of really nice looking boys? Extra come up here for husband, <laughs> <of people actually. Time to rush out and buy that old favourite, Tiger Feet, at a stall conveniently located next to the stage. 
I'm, I'm quite proud of it, actually. What we did has had its effects upon the world, you know, and the way music and entertainment and, and people's lives were affected and the way they lead their lives because of the way they come up, because that's your formative years. highlight of the weekend, the sweet. <laughs> reliving their head-banging youth was just too tiring. And so to bed, heads throbbing and probably ankles too. A whole decade crammed into one weekend, an absolute blockbuster. <laughs> Yasmin Pasha reporting and still limping after wearing a platform.